Hey guys, hope everyone's doing great. I'm coming to you today from my 2017 Airstream Interstate Grand Tour and wanted to follow up on my last review of the Airstream Interstate or my walkthrough and talk a little bit more about wet bath storage. If you're familiar with the Airstream Interstate, you'll know that wet baths come standard. And what I mean by a wet bath is that your commode, bath, sink, and shower are all combined into one space located behind this cool door. So let's take a peek in. The Airstream Interstate wet bath is a single uh, fiberglass design or a single fiberglass piece. There are no seams, which I think is great compared to a lot of other RVs uh, that are either made out of a thin plastic material uh, or a fiberglass that have seams and then they have to caulk the seams and uh, they're just not near the same quality uh, as a single fiberglass piece. Um, so check out my other review where I talk a little bit about uh, space and taking a shower, all that good stuff. Um, I also mentioned in my walkthrough video that located right here where you see the four plugs used to be a soap dispenser that comes standard with the uh, Airstream Interstate. And the issue is that as you're standing in the shower, your arm and elbow are continuously bumping into it. So that was the first thing that I changed to my interstate uh, once I uh, took delivery of it. Um, what I did not show you during that walkthrough was what the device actually looks like. So I wanted to go ahead and show it to you. I mentioned in the walkthrough, it's about at the thickest point about three inches thick. And let's see. So you can see there are screw holes. There's one, two, three, four, those two on the bottom. So that lined up right here. What I can't show you is how at the thickest part where those buttons are, which is about three inches, how that is perfectly situated to um, prevent you from being able to move your arms, uh, it hits your arms and elbows when you're in the shower. Um, so by removing this, I gained a few inches of arm space. So what I wanted to do was recapture some storage, because uh, again, the purpose of this is to provide you with three dispensers uh, for soap, conditioner, shampoo, whatever uh, you'd like. There's refillable containers inside. Hey, how are you? <laughs> um, made by Trusty. And when it's on the wall, you just push the button here. And then you can see the three fillable containers. I put the screws in that Ziploc bag. So these come out, and you can refill them. So what I was looking for was a solution to, again, provide additional storage. Now, the interstate provides this little fiberglass shelf, which is great, but if you put shampoo bottles, toothbrush, toothpaste, whatever you have, soaps, there's uh, no guard to keep it from rolling off. So you can't keep it stored there full time uh, as you're traveling down the road. So you have to move everything, store it. I've usually just been placing little bottles, soap, toothpaste, uh, whatever I have in the sink uh, as I'm traveling, but I knew there was a better solution. So. Um, what I was looking at were some storage racks or shelves uh, like this one. Um, this particular one is a command brand um, by 3M um, bathroom shelf. And it's chrome. And behind each of these metal plates, there are two command strips each. Uh, and in total, I believe this holds about eight pounds, which is pretty significant for a bathroom uh, shelf. Um, the accessories inside the uh, wet bath are all chrome. This is the um, uh, clothes line that you pull across and you can hang your clothes, your damp clothes, towels to air dry. 
as well the sink faucet mirror these are all chrome so preferably i wanted something to match but i also uh, wanted to see what was on the market um i wanted it to be tall enough to hold a tall bottle uh, of shampoo or conditioner um, i also wanted it to have slots or ventilation or something in the bottom to allow any moisture and water uh, to drain and drip. So I wanted to show you guys uh, some of the examples of what I had found out there. Uh, a couple by uh, Command and then uh, one by Xena Home. So let's take a look at Xena Home first, which is actually what I came across first uh, and is similar to the one that I settled on. Um, this one is a never rust metal um, storage basket, holds 30 pounds, uh, which is actually greater than the uh, 8 pounds that the Command brand uh, holds. Um, you have a unique suction cup design. Now I'm always a little leery of suction cups because over time they tend to lose their suction, uh, and depending on the weight and what's in uh, the container, uh, they tend to slip and fall off. Uh, but nonetheless, I liked it due to it being relatively uh, wide, having a decent uh, height to the basket to hold taller bottles, and of course it would drain on the bottom. So for comparison, let me show you how this stacks up to what I actually have. Um, so the best comparison is just in overall area we'll product width you'll see the one um, by command brand that I wound up going with is a couple of inches longer uh, in addition it's using the command strip technology versus suction cup it's also not as wide um, this from the front to back dimension you're probably four to five inches uh, this one, you're a little narrower. It's the exact same width all the way across. Uh, kind of hard to see here, but you're probably about four inches across. It's also the command strip one. Well, it's a little hard to see. Uh, you're about an inch taller. Um, so again, looking at the Xena Home one, as I started looking around, I was always leery of the suction cups. I like the metal design. I like that it was um, uh, rust-free, guaranteed for life. And the way that you attach it to the wall, of course you wanna dampen this just a little bit for improved suction. And then you simply just turn this. Um, and in turning this, what it's doing is creating suction on the backside. So as you turn the knob, then it's pulling the suction cup in towards the knob, creating that suction. All right, so that's the Xena Home. So then the next basket I found is by a, man, a brand called Magic. This holds eight pounds. It's also a suction cup. But what I found unique about this was they are selling a red line indicator um, to indicate when the suction cups are actually losing suction. So again, that put uh, some doubt into my mind about how good the suction cups are actually going to be. And keep in mind, this is an RV. It's going to be in the heat during the summer. You're traveling down the road, bumps and jogs. Uh, it's going to eventually wreak havoc on suction cups. But I thought this was interesting because... Um, how it actually uh, works compared to turning the dial here. Um, these, you simply push all the way in, release, which will create the suction, and then over time as it's uh, losing suction, you start to see the red, and you can see how that indicator pops out. So I thought that was great, but I don't want to have to keep an eye on when the suction cup is starting to show red. Um, and have to apply pressure all over again, uh, especially if it's hidden behind bottles. I thought the size of it, sorry, let me get it in here. I thought the size of it worked well uh, as far as height goes. Um, you're about an inch taller than the Command Strip brand 
that I actually uh, settled on. You have your holes for moisture to leak out of. Um, not nearly as wide. You can see here the command strip ran about four inches wider than this one. And also, this plastic almost has a, a bluish tint to it compared to the natural fiberglass in the Airstream Interstate, which is a uh, whiter, creamier, well, I want to say a natural white color. I don't know which one's really natural, but this one has a bluer tint. So it didn't really look like it matched. Um, but besides all of that, the suction cups at the end of the day were really uh, what killed it. All right, so that's the Magic brand. Then looking again at other command uh, options, let me get these out of the way. You have another plastic basket. Uh, this is using command strip technology. And this holds, the packaging doesn't say, usually they do, uh, how much weight it actually holds. Um, this one does not say, but generally the instructions inside, uh, it will hold about eight pounds. So this one was great. You have the holes on the bottom for all the moisture to drip through. It's the same depth all the way down. You'll see here on the back, it's a little bit taller to hold the four command strips, a little bit shorter on the front. There's a picture of what it would look like installed. So let's see how it stacks up to the one that I purchased or decided to go with. So it's a little bit uh, shorter as far as width by a couple of inches. Height wise, the front edge right here is shorter by about an inch, inch and a half. And while they both attach to the wall with the exact same uh, technology and this white plastic is a better match to the fiberglass, still not exactly uh, perfect. I decided to go with the metal one just for the simple fact that it is whiter and it also looks a little more natural in the Airstream Interstate uh, with the other chrome um, accessories that are in here. Uh, and to me, I thought if I have anything down here or shorter, I could see it better compared to it being hidden here and me having to fumble around behind the plastic and not being able to find it. Now, of course, once I installed this and had something smaller up here, it then dawned on me, there's no rail on the bottom for about two inches to protect anything from falling out. So that's something to keep in mind. This would be my backup uh, alternative because it is solid. You still have the holes here on either end as well as the holes on the bottom. So that's fantastic. Although it is about two inches shorter in width, it is gonna give you that protection from any smaller items. You might just lose track of items that are actually lower behind here because you can't actually see it. But this would definitely be on my backup. So those are two command brand products that I narrowed down for my Airstream Interstate wet bath. Another command brand item that I came across was this multi-hook. So I picked it up and wanted to see how this would work in the wet bath. I thought it would be great for um, washcloths. I don't use a loofah uh, or really have anything else that would hang off of this. I just thought it would be great for the washcloths to hang on and dry. Um, but as I started placing it here in the bath, and there are definitely locations where it could go. It could go on this wall, um, back wall, where I actually remove the soap dispenser without a problem. You could mount it higher. But at the end of the day, I really just like the clean look of the fiberglass, not having additional accessories, but I thought this would be great for anyone that had uh, sponges or loofahs or wanted additional places to uh, allow washcloths or small hand towels to dry. Um, the wet bath does include this towel bar ring. And so you can easily fit two washcloths on this or a uh, towel folded over. And again, keep in mind, um, here's your hook or your latch area and your clothes, whoops, and your clothesline. I think you guys get the idea for the most part. So this comes across, it's got a little tension to it and clips in there. Um, it's probably 36 
inches roughly, probably a little bit longer than 36 inches. Once you actually pull it up, you want to tighten it. And so there's a little uh, mechanism down here that you turn to the right, right tight, left loose. That will tighten the string. And then that way you can actually hang towels, larger items on it. I mentioned in my RV walkthrough uh, that I actually found some microfiber washcloths. Uh, here's my stack of microfiber washcloths. Uh, these were at the dollar store. Uh, now you can find these at sports stores, uh, anywhere that really any microfiber towels are sold. Um, these are fantastic. They dry extremely fast. And so knowing that they dry fast and that the wet bath already has this towel bar um, that accommodates a couple of towels uh, or washcloths, uh, I opted not to install the, um, uh, the three hook, uh, multi hook on the wall. I'm about 6'1", uh, roughly 200 pounds, and I can fit in the space and move around, uh, especially removing the soap dispenser that was here. Um, it's a tight fit, but for the amount of time that you actually spend in the bath, it works for everything that you need it to be. Um, so hopefully this gives you some options for what you can do in your um, RV Class B wet bath. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know if you have any questions or would like to see any other features of my Class B Airstream Interstate Grand Tour EXT. See you later.